Hi scholars, we're back at Scratch and we're going to do part two of our whack-a-mole game. So to find your games, what you do is you go to this folder right here and your folder should have all your games here. Now one of the mistakes I made when I started is didn't title it. I should have put a title in there, but there's my game. And what you want to do is you want to see inside of it. Now you can change the title of it whenever you want, so I'll call it whack-a-mole. And now it's, it's done. Now when we last left off, these weren't here. So let me get rid of those so that I can teach you how to finish it. And this wasn't here. Well, and we, these, these numbers were different. So what you want to do is you want to change these numbers to what I have them now. You want 200 and negative 200 next to the X. And that's because your screen goes all the way over here to negative 200 and all the way over here to positive 200. And for your Y, you want 180 and negative 180 because at the top is 180 and at the bottom is negative 180. So that's gonna make your balloon go in random spots. Now, after it goes to a random spot, you're gonna wait again. So our wait, I believe is a control, let's see, we're gonna, Wait. Yep, we're going to wait. And actually, before we wait four seconds, we're going to hide. So that's down here. Hide. Hide goes first. You're going to hide. Then you're going to wait for four seconds. Now, we're going to code the sound for that. So the sound looks like this when the sprite is clicked and that's an event so we're going to go to our yellow event ones when the sprite is clicked so if you click it with your cursor then what it's going to do is it's going to play the pop sound so go to your sounds and push the play this sound not start sound play sound now i've got bubbles on there i also have pop the reason that I have that in there is you could add sounds. So you can do that by going into your sounds tab and adding different sounds in there. There's so many of them. There's percussion sounds like a drum. There's sports sounds like cheering, whatever you want. To add a sound, just double click it. And now that's in your sounds tab. But I want to stick with pop. So I'll go back to my code. And after I do that, I'm going to change the scoreboard by one. That's a variable. When we change numbers, it's changing a variable. So we're not going to set it. We're going to change it now. Change it by one. That is how you code your balloon. After you've got this done, what we're going to do is we're going to add more sprites. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to take this sprite, and we are going to duplicate it. And by duplicating, and I'm pushing the control button and then the, T, the keypad um, pad button, and I'm going to make four balloons. When you do that, every new balloon has the same code. But what we want to do for our second balloon, we want to change that number. Now, it says over here, we're going to change the weight one second. We're going to increase it by one. So now, instead of waiting one second for balloon number two, Maybe I'll wait two seconds for balloon number three. Maybe I'll wait three seconds and balloon number four, I'll wait four seconds. That makes it so the balloons pop up at different times in different locations. And what you can also do is change the colors of the balloons. So go to balloon number two and then go to costumes. Now right here, it's blue right now, right? I can fill that maybe with um, red and maybe, maybe like make it like that. Okay, so now I've got that balloon number two. Balloon number three, maybe I'll make that one more greenish. Ah, I should make it more greenish over there. Oh, I didn't click it, that's why. There we go. There, that's more greenish. And balloon number four, maybe I'll click that. Oh, I gotta click the balloon. And maybe I'll make that more yellow or 